kindly sit down. Salamat po. Senator Manny Pacquiao, happy birthday. And to the wife, Jenki, happy birthday. The birthday of the husband is the birthday of the wife, and the birthday of the wife is always the birthday of the husband. Congressman Ruel Pacquiao of the Sangani, uh, Sarangani Province. Congressman Toby Tiangko, the known district of Nabota City. Governor Steve Solon, Mayor Romero Rivera. Good evening, sir. Uh, Sibato, uh, sir. Chabit Singson. Uh, Mrs. Uh, Ang Mga Anak. Si Emmanuel, Junior, Michael, Princess, Israel, and Queen Elizabeth. May you live forever. Si Mami Dionisia, si Jubel Pacquiao, Jane Rivera, distinguished guests, my countrymen. I have a very simple story to tell you tonight. Actually, it's just a message. Maybe a reminder at the same time to tell you what, is all, what the ROCOS is all about. Simple. It is the preservation of my country. It is to protect the next generation so that there will be Filipinos with sound mind and sound body to run this country when we are no longer here in this planet. Alam mo nung mayor ako, I was really very worried about drugs and of crime. And because I wanted to improve the city from the ruins of uh, the martial years and the insurgency, eh, gusto ko talagang magpakita ng yabang. And uh, I said I wanted my city to bloom. Eh, sinabi ko sa mga kriminal, lahat na, lalo na ang drugs, do not destroy my city because I will kill you. And do not destroy the young Filipinos because I will simply kill you. And so I ordered uh, punitive uh, police actions. Alam ko na I knew that there were a lot of addicts already in the city of Davao and of the Philippines. For I was once upon a time the advisor of President Arroyo. Ginawa niya akong consultant for uh, public order and security. And I had uh, a good chance of re reviewing all what was there before us. At alam ko talaga na seryoso na ang problema. But it did not occur to me actually. And I was horrified. And so are you, I am very sure. Na nung na-presidente ako at inipit ko na ang lahat. At sinabi ko to all that uh, we are in a bind. Seryoso ito. And I said, well, actually, it was already serious. But nobody gave the importance to the statement of General Santiago of PDEA that 92% of uh, talagang nakuha na sa mga dorogista. And when he gave us that figure of 3 million, this was a joke. And it was a very grave uh, matter that uh, alam ko noon, but I, I'm not blaming anybody, but nahayaan eh. Hinayaan talaga to, so that when I became president, at sinabi ko, nag-warning na ako, sabi ko, surrender kayo, pamili kayo. Because I am ordering the military and the police to wage a war. I am not saying, pulihin mo 
Ang sinabi ko, let us wage a war against the apparatus of the drug. Kasi ang akin ngayon, 3 million kay Santiago, might count now, Dan si Bato said it has reached 900. I am sure that before the year ends, I would have breached the million mark. So easily, sabihin mo, 4 million. Hindi biro yan. Kaya sabi ko, hindi na ito madala na kunin mo doon sa bahay, uh, secure a warrant of arrest, then find him where he is. Hindi mo madala 4 million. A fiscal ako dati. And how to build the case? Go to trial. Secure a conviction. Hindi mo madala. The reality of it all. Huwag na tayo magbulahan. Mga namin fiscal dito, maray abogado. Even one case, dalawa, tatlo, mayaman, they can afford a lawyer. Kita mo dito lahat, uh, at sabi nila noon, ang tinatamaan. Uh, that was the favorite repayment of everybody. Ah, uh, itong gobyerno to, wala. Ang mga mayaman, uh, sabi ko, sige lang. And, uh, I have this number now of 4 million. My duty, actually. And I stake my life. Buhay ko, pati trabaho ko. Itataya ko yan. I will solve this problem. Because I have to worry about tomorrow and being the president, I have to preserve this country. Or else we'll go to the dogs. Na ang masakit dito, instead of, instead of asking us what's happening to your country, what steps are you taking to control drugs? It may mga, Gusto ko magmura eh. I'm just trying to get hold of my temper. I, know I'm a, I have a very bad temper. I know that. May mga countries dito na kung sabihin nila anong ang problema mo, anak ka ng, ang ginagawa ng mga ulol, magtanong kung ilan yung patay na durugista. Kung tarantado, 4 million Tapos may matay na isa, sabihin nila na he was rubbed out. You worry about a son of a bitch. Yung 4 million, hindi ka magtanong kung ano ang nangyari. Assuming to be true na talagang pinatay. Because I won't believe it. I believe what the police says to me. Why? Eh, ang police under ko eh. I'm the president. Then the cabinet is a DILG, and under the DILG is the PNP. So kung anong sabihin nila, sir, ganito ang nangyari. At, uh, look, El Buera, the Department of Justice is under me. I could have just easily, you know, order them follow the theory of the police. Pero hinayaan ko, hindi ako nang ano. But I told them, you before. If it is in the obedience of my order, you will have my protection. Sabi ko, mawala na ako sa trabaho, mamatay ako. You won't regret anything obeying my order because I will take full responsibility. Akin yan. Hindi ako papayag na yung mga polis na military makukulong itong mga ang ito na bubuhay ka lang. <laughs> ako simple lang ang pagkatao. I do not even know how I became president. Alam ninyo yan. Wala akong pera niyo, wala lahat. But I don't know why uh, maybe what the pastor said was really 
through destiny. So kung sabihin niyo, tinatakot din niyo ako na hanggang isang taon ka lang, o maimpits ka, o mamatay ka, so be it. Ganun talaga ang destiny ko. Na mapresidente ako ng isang taon lang at mamamatay, o mapresidente ako at uh, tanggalin ako sa go ahead, no regrets ako. Alam ko yan na presidente ako, hanggang dyan lang ako. So that's my destiny. I, I, I have this uh, thing about uh, faith in life. And faith in God. Ay, ako sabihin ko, patawarin mo na ako, Diyos ko, but uh, you know, I have to protect my country. Ito mga iba, mag Dadero, kaya ako nagmumura. Was, akala ko ba alay tayo? Instead of offering help, here comes the idiots. Pati itong yung, yung sa newspaper ngayong Amnesty International. Itong representative nila sa Asia. He said that Duterte, when he talks about to the police of killing, he is promoting impunity. Oh, well, how about the impunity of the idiots here producing drugs? No, no, no. Wala mang impunity. Wala mo na kung patayin kung nag-behave kayo lahat dyan. But, ayaw mo talaga. Nag-warning-warning na ako. Hindi ka mag... I will not stop until the last pusher is out of the streets and the last drug lord exterminated. I ordered them go and destroy the apparatus of the drug menace. It has reached a terrifying proportion. Indonesia, about, I think Indonesia is about uh, almost nearly 200 million. President Bududu said, he has 4 million. And he executes people. And he's pissed off with so many nations calling him to stop uh, the death penalty. I said, I Eh, bakit hingi-hingi hindi Duterte ang death penalty? Eh, may death penalty, wala namang nangyari noon. Eh, anak ka nang ibalik mo sa akin yan. Ako ang mag... Araw-arawin ko yan. Lima, anim. Ito to, to. Kaya ako hinihingi, kasi talagang hiritang kita. Ngayon, ayaw niya ibalik ang death penalty. De, ibang hirit tayo. You want it legal? Fine. You destroy my country, I destroy you. Wala na tayong pinag-usapan dito. No, that, that's why itong mga kasi, itong mga no offense intended. Historia na lang ito. Historia lang man ito. Yung mga demonstration. Uh, human rights. Yan mo lang mga yelo, gusto nila ako tanggalin. Eh di, sige. Ah, paningkamot mo. Pero itong left, ang mga left, hindi yan mag... They will never allow na maalis ako pagka-presidente. It's the only during my time that he agreed to talk. Why? Alam na ninyo kung bakit. I am the first left president of this country. Pero hindi ako membro ng Communist Party of the Philippines. But I grew up dito sa Mindanao. Nag-migrate lang yung tatay ko, married uh, Mindanao lady. Hirap ang buhay namin. Talagang hirap. Kaya I'm a socialist by my political dimension. Di ako ako pasalisali na I, 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 I choose my crowd. Because uh, parang, you know, ito hindi bagay sa akin. Ito lang ang bagay sa akin. You know this traveling? Sabi that I'm traveling. I hate to travel. Totoo lang. Nagpuputak. 
Nagayaw-yaw ako. Kaya lang itong foreign affairs, we are hosting the ASEAN Summit next year. I have to go around to the member states to ask for their stand on this matter dito sa trade. Mabuti na lang, hindi tuloy yung tarantaduhan ng Amerika. Yung Pan-Pacific. Ano pa, pagkakunan, kung pumasa yan, hindi tayo, we will not qualify. And then you have to sell your medicine. Wala na ang generic, branded lahat. Member ko ng Trans-Pacific Partnership. So, yun ang, that was, yung nagkagulo. So, they have forgotten it. I don't know what happened along the way. Kaya kukuha yan sila. Ano ba ang ano natin? Because ako ang mag-prepare ng agenda. So, kailangan ko iwan-on-one sila. Ano bang gusto mo? Para pagdating doon, smooth na. Nandoon na yung gusto nila at ano yung pag-usapan. Baka sabihin ninyo, nag-i-enjoy ako dyan. Tanong ngayon, wala lahat sila. Nag-ayaw. So, ayaw ko na, mabuti pa, mahulog na itong yaw ang airplan. Ano to? No, talaga. Totoo. Sabi ko yan sila. Nandiyan si Defense Secretary. Sabi ko, sige, ayaw, may binibiro ako na babae. Sabi ko, ano? Takot ka, no? Buti pa, mahulog na itong puta. Kakapagod, ha? Totoo lang. At saka, ay, ay, ito, travel. Ayaw ko man magpunta-punta ng mga lugar. Diyan lang. I'm contented with the bahay ko, yung after dark dyan. Hindi naman ako makainom. Tapos mag-intriga, sabi ko, may sakit ako na, ano, headline ka agad, Duterte will die. Gago. Hoy, istorya lang yan. Maniwala ka pala. Kaya ko nilalaro yung mga buang. Tingnan mo kung ano sabihin ko. Kunin ka agad nila. Totoo yan. Kung ano ayat ako sabihin ko na ano ako, ganun. Pati yung mga babae ko, binabastos yung buhay ko itong isang may isang kolumnista dyan na may programa niya. Tangan ang muka, kala mo. Mas maganda pa yung husband niya kaysa kanya. Totoo lang. Alam mo kayo, masawa yan sila. Pero itong babae, surot something about the kuno. Makaharap mo yan. Pagkapangit sa yawa. Kaya eh, kung lagyan mo ng wig ng uh, uh, siguro uh, doon pa ako magtingin sa asawa niya maging bayot na ako kasi so that's uh, anyway ay, ay, uh, wag, yan hindi yun to yan. nobody can stop me because ang tingin ko kung hindi ako na presidente at yung si ano patay kayo lahat Puta ba siya kasi mabata? Ang, 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 ang police aid niya, nandoon sa listahan. Yung tinanggal ko na... Eh kung... kung Sus Mario Yosef, butit na lang, naisipan ninyo ako. Uh, sa bagay, kapitbahay man tayo. <laughs> so yun lang po, uh, I'm really appalled by the indifference. You know, when you do that, America and the other countries, 400 million, and you try to pin me down, doon sa namatay na 5,000, 6,000. Walang operasyon si Bato right at the start. But if you take two steps backward, weeks before I became president, pataya na, so what does that what does that tell you? Naglilinili, naglilinis yan sila noon. Yung unang birada, yung akin, about a third of the killings, talagang encounter yan. Kayo dito sa Jensan, medyo marami man. Eh marami kayo nakita. It is always a paranoia thing. 
you get addicted, there's a certain uh, amount of chemicals in your brain, paranoia sets in. Asawa, bugbugin kasi nangangaliwa, buti nga. Tapos, uh, ito, kalaban niya, yan, uh, suspicioso. Kaya nagdadala ng baril. I have been mayor for 23 years of Davao City. Hindi mo ako maluko dyan sa mga labutsing na yan. Totoo talaga yan. So, you trivialize the problem of the 4 million kasi interesado ka lang kung sino ang nagpatay nitong putang ina to. Let's say. 4 million, tapos ganun na yung mga... Kaya ako... Nagmumura ako. Eh, pati si Obama. Look. Ito ah. Man, mapulitiko ka man. Magiging presidente ka rin. Tingin ko eh. Totoo. Sundan mo lang linya mo at ganun lang ugali mo. Yung, yung style mo, stay humble. Pababa ko lang. Masyadong, ano, ito kasi ang hirap niya. America keeps on nitpicking. Tapos, every time that they would tell me or warn me or chastise me, they would take the international platform. Ako nung mayor ako, meron na silang misgiving sa akin talaga. Human rights. I was the favorite whipping boy of the human rights. And hinayaan ko lang yun. Ganun rin, CNN. Tapos, naging presidente ako. Kayong mga noon mayor okay lang. At presidente ako, I carry on my shoulder the sovereignty of the Filipino people. You do not reprimand me or chastise me in public. I won't accept it. Nakaka-insulto yung ginagawa ninyo at every time you talk about suspension of the aid, aid ninyo, baka aid siguro yan, yung assistance, we will not give you. You have done that to the so many presidents of this country. Tahimik lang yan sila. Makapagal. Kanang buyagon. You call down upon the president. And who are you? Who are you? To reprimand me in public. You, we are members of the United Nations. Akala ko pa may mga abogado kayo. If you have something, you go to the United Nations Assembly. You shout, you complain, and you cry there. And then ask for a motion that I, or the Philippines, be investigated. Then if the result uh, is there, you submit it, then call our attention, and we will talk. You do not just because, well, sabihin ninyo na, Ah, ganun, ikaw, yung aid mo, yung assistance, wala. Yung kahapon, yung uh, uh, Millennium Challenge. We were taking out because of issues of uh, yung human rights violations. Akala mo, every time you criticize us, you always connect it with the aid. Bullshit, you guys. You know what? I'll tell you straight. You invaded my country, sat on it for 50 years, and lived off the fat of the land. And you have the goal to say to us that you, we do not give you the aid. Son of a bitch. You are a son of a bitch. Do not do that to us. Me? I'm just standing for the dignity of the people. You complain to us, but do not take away. Eat your aids. Swallow your assistance. 
I've been to China, I said, China, we will give you something like 15 billion. Tang ina yang milinyo mo, makano, 400? Iyon na yan. Tulong mo dyan sa mga Amerikano na tutulog dyan sa labas. Yan ang ayaw ko. Forgive me for uh, having this bad mouth. But the reason why I am really so adamant about itong you trivialize my problem with 4 million and as president I have to solve it. And you go out proclaiming to the people that the aid or assistance that uh, will not go to the Philippines because we have this issue of human rights. Eh, kayo, in America, there are 40,000 lives lost in America, drug connected. At sabihin niya, pa, 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 isang ulul na CIA, eh, but that is not state-sponsored. Gago ka pala eh. Lahat ng ginagawa ng gobyerno, state-sponsored talaga yan. Sino mo pala mag-utos na, hindi tayo nakakaitindihan dyan. It is always an act of state. And what I'm doing is just following the natural law of self-defense. Four million, and you do that to us, you must be awfully stupid. Eat your age and uh, we will survive. I'll go to China. I will accept the 15 billion. The 400 million lang inyo eh. Ayun, ngayon nga ang ulang pera dyan. Tapos na, uh, we ordered M16s. You suspended the transaction. Good. Actually, I'll tell you the truth. In public, China has been calling us almost daily. Kunin mo na ang 26. We're giving you even 30. Libre. Sabi ko, you know, uh, uh, Ambassador, you know, uh, the budget is still... Uh, uh, in, 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 in the drawing board. It will take effect next year. And if maybe if I have the money, I'll buy it. So we'll, no, we'll give it to you free. See? Tapos sabi ng Russia, kausap kami ni Putin, we have everything for you. So, tinawagan ko, ah, yeah, we'll give you. Take one by one. Ah. Saan ka nakakita ng ganun? Baka, istorya lang yan. Pero ganun na nga ang takbo. Ganun ang takbo ng usap. So, that is the... Kasi, you ignore us. China is here. Sa tabi na Japan, Korea, Taiwan. Puro rat yan may military bases ang Amerikano. Dito, malis kayo. O malis kayo sa Pilipinas. I do not want to see any foreigner, any military foreigner. Not even Chinese or Russian. You go out. Uh, according to the Supreme Court, the BFA is a uh, visiting foreign agreement, is uh, an executive agreement in the Indian Treaty. So, Start packing your things. Start packing your things and get out of my country. You want to come back here? You pay us. You want visa? Pay us. Transaction tayo. Pera pera na lang tayo. Bote pa. Wala wala na manggira ngayon. Why would I allow you here? You want to create World War Three? If you do that, if all the nuclear explosives are really this planet it won't be around tomorrow. It's the end for all of us. So why would we pick a fight, fight with anybody? At saka ang ayaw ko yung they are training the Filipino soldiers. Itong maneuver, maneuver. Itong inakaduwag ninyo kayo? Turuan mo itong sundalo natin na bayag mga ganyan, walang kain yan, tatlong araw. Ito mga sundalo ang Amerikano, pag sa kampo, maghanap ng air condition na tent. 
gusto ng ham and egg. Gusto na. Pilipino. Wala, wala yung mabuto sa'yo. Labayan lang yung kaninorte. Ah, diretso. Wala air condition. Pero we are more durable, more brave. I tell you, do not teach us about warfare. We have the longest uh, insurgency problem here. Kaya sinabi ko sa mga komunista, anong gusto mo? We fight for another 45 years. Pati ang MI, 72. Eh, yung MNLF, Sinor. It's almost 45 years. You want another 45 years? Come on. Except for the itong mga maote, they're a very dangerous group because they are, well, allegedly sore allegiance to the ISIS. That we have to be very careful. I'm not, I said, I do not want to fight. I do not want to kill anybody. Pati yung mga droga. Pero, if it would take uh, to the last day of my term, six years from now, fine. I'd be glad to oblige you. Putang ina, ubusin ko talaga kayong lating na. Ah, magsumbong ka na doon sa United Nations. Sunugin ko pa yung United Nations kung gusto ninyo. Pagawa puntang Amerika, sindihan ko yung yawa na yan. Well, uh, yun lang po ang... I have to... I, I ask permission from uh, President to be Manny Pacquiao. Uh, oh, ako nagbitaw na ako ng salita. So, klaro na yan. Uh, basta tingnan mo lang kasi may nakita ako na linya mo eh. Ako ang walang linya. <laughs> Salamat.